Okay, so here we have a uh, Seagate backup uh, plus five terabyte disc and I need the disc out of it. So let's uh, show you how to disassemble it. So all I've done so far is open the box, that's it. Everything else is still factory sealed. Okay, so this is all garbage. I need to take that with the shrink. That's not really shrink wrap. So what I've got to do is uh, pry this uh, aluminum lid off the top. And the question is how to do that. So normally what you'd use are proper uh, tools. Right, these are pretty straightforward tools. Let's see if we can do it without proper tools. So what I'm going to do is just use a slotted screwdriver and see if I can pry it up without too much damage um, so that you can do this at home without having to go buy any tools. By the way, I'm pretty sure you can, but I could be wrong. So let's find out. Uh, so I'm just going to go into here. Ah, there you go. Yeah, see that? It just sort of pried out a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to pry it actually out from this end because this is the end I care least about. Um, from memory, by the way, these are just glued in, tape, double-sided taped on. So um, it's uh, the kind of thing you just have to keep breaking the tape as you move around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, card as well. Uh, you can choose an old credit card uh, and slide it around. So um, again, I could use the proper tools, but let's see, do, see if we can do this without the proper tools. So once I pry it open with the screwdriver, like that come on okay let me go from this end because this end apparently was a little happier to to pry there we go let's see now if that's wide enough for me to get this credit card in and it is there we go so that's happy so that's the way to do that just slide it around come on little buddy keep going oh it lost its edge there but i'm sure we can do this if we just keep at it so I'm going to, it's aluminum, so it will bend a bit and that's okay. You don't have to worry about it. It'll bend back. Done lots of these over the years, although I don't recall doing this particular model exactly. Uh, let's just see what we get here. Now I'm just using my fingers to pry this because this really doesn't want to come off. Sometimes there's screws on these things, but the, this one I can tell there's no screw, no placement for screw. So it's got to just be double-sided tape. So let's just work our way down then. Okay, so this guy's going to be less fun than I was hoping, but let's just see here. There we go. Ah, there we go. Great. So yeah, so there you go. You can just pry them open. And if you're not too forceful, you won't bend it too much and you'll be able to just dump, put it back down. There you go. So that's how that's, uh, that's in. Uh, those are, yeah, there's the double sided tape all the way around and that's it. Now, if this holds like the other ones, there are four screw uh, mounts here, but they're not actually screwed in. It's just uh, screwed into rubber. So what you have to do is, um, they're uh, screwed into a mount. So what you have to do is pop it from this back end out. So the way I do that is like that. Yeah, there we go. And you could get a screwdriver pry it out, but I'm not going to. And then just pop it out from the connector here. So there we go. Bingo bongo. That's it, then you pull the tape back. You don't have to care about this, by the way. This tape is irrelevant. You can completely mangle it. Um, because I'm probably gonna remount this disc in this chassis, uh, because I need it for a different purpose, um, I'll be careful with it. But if you're just wanting the disc, don't worry about it. Just rip it out, tear it off. You won't have, it won't cause you any grief. And uh, so now that that's off, this little control board will come out. Yeah, it's just typical stuff here it's nothing that interesting there we go so now that's disassembled i'm gonna just leave it like that okay so that's it that's how you disassemble a seagate backup plus uh unit in 2019 that's how they're assembled now all right if you have any questions get a hold of us at www.uartech.ca thanks bye bye